I am so disappointed in this film. I wanted one Lonely Island performance. Didn't get any. So, zero stars. Just kidding. Let's talk about it. What is up, Flick fans? Welcome back to my channel. As always, I like to talk about the brand new movie or TV show on streaming. And this weekend, we have a lot. But thankfully, I got to see Palm Springs a bit early. So, this movie is coming out Friday. Are you looking forward to it? Does it look exciting? This review is spoiler-free. Get in that comment section down below. So, when carefree Niles and reluctant maid of honor Sarah have a chance encounter at a Palm Springs wedding, things get complicated as they are unable to escape the venue, themselves, and each other. So, spoiler-free review, like I said, but I think everyone's aware of the premise, the fact that these two characters are caught in a time loop situation, aka Edge of Tomorrow, Groundhog Day being the OG, but really... We've seen movies like this a thousand times. Those two films I mentioned, they work well, um, but I've never really seen it work in rom-com form, unless I'm forgetting one or two. And we've not had a movie in quite a while, I think I just said it in a recent review, that has made me laugh on a level that I've been satisfied with. I don't know if we've had a good comedy yet in 2020. We've had okay comedies, right? But we haven't had anything that's... um delivered on the level that I wanted it to or just exceeded expectations. But my goodness, Palm Springs did not only exceed my expectations, it gave me one of the best romantic comedy experiences I've had in quite some time, and it really changed up what seems to be a basic and formulaic formula. Is that a term? Formulaic formula? Sure. It flips it on its head, and it does something different. And that's what I loved about this movie, right? You're with this character at the beginning, going through the situation over and over again. All right, the film's going to be completely cliche. And then you realize uh, it's not what it seems, and there is something more to what is happening with him. We get the encounter between both of these characters and their chemistry, uh, on top of the fact that the formula is a bit different this time around, but their chemistry is what makes this movie flow so well. Andy Samberg, Kristen Milioti, it works because they are just so good together, firing on all cylinders. And I'm not going to sit back here and say it's the funniest movie I've ever seen. No, it's not as uh, ha-ha, laugh-out-loud, jokey-jokey as you may want in a comedy. So if you're expecting the crazy, over-the-top gags, it's not going to be a movie that's for you. But if you like more subtle humor, repetitive jokes, obviously with the premise, but jokes that kind of come back around later on in the film, and they work super well every time they come about, that worked on top of the fact that the romance, something that I'm normally just like, ah, this, the romance works really well throughout the film, and then you have J.K. Simmons as just this wacky, over-the-top character, and you're trying to figure out, okay, how does he play into the situation? Because when you first see him, you're like... Why is he here? And even Andy Samberg, he's like, I I don't really know why he's here. And then you realize, oh, okay, that's the reason I'm in. Give me an entertaining movie. That's what this is. It's entertaining. Now, it doesn't do anything that's going to change the rom-com game with its ending, right? It isn't a film that breaks boundaries with a joke like this or a scene that's going to make you walk out and say, oh my goodness, that movie did not pull any punches uncut gems but romantic comedy version no it's not that movie it's simple and maybe a bit predictable once you get into that third act but overall when they start uncovering certain secrets and maybe one or two montage-esque scenes that could have been explained a bit more but i didn't even mind that i'm okay with certain beats that they hit here because they were all entertaining and there wasn't even a scene or a moment in this movie that I can think of that didn't serve a purpose for something that happened later on in the film and the payoff in the third act whether it's what you expect or not was a good payoff I mean this is just a great all-around movie unexpected more layered than anticipated revelations that come about with our characters the further we go it flips this time loop element on its head i mentioned the lonely island in the intro they actually produced this film first time director by the way uh max barbacow he was awesome behind the camera did some creative things i i love this movie <laughs> 
really love this movie, and I will be shocked if it's not hovering around my top 10, especially with the rate that we're at by the end of the year. It, uh, it may be the best time I've had watching a movie all year. I'm serious. What did I expect from this film? None of what I just said. I had no clue I was going to love it as much as I was, but uh, those are the best kinds of movies. Palm Springs comes to Hulu this Friday. Let me know what you guys think, and if you enjoy this review, smash that thumbs up button. As for my score, I'm going in 88% for Palm Springs. Andy Samberg, congratulations, my friend. You rocked it. Uh, but Kristen Milioti, you may have stole the entire show. Fantastic, the chemistry between those two. Thank you guys so much for watching. Get on Hulu this weekend. Check out this movie, especially if you're a fan of the genre and you want a good laugh or two. I'll see you guys soon.